Well, today is the day, Dragon Prince fans. That's right, San Diego Comic Con is this weekend, and the Season 5 panel is mere moments away, which means news, reveals, and some surprises, I hope. What's going on everyone? James here with some real news and that's right. I'm going to recap the season five panel for the Dragon Prince, which was announced a couple of weeks ago. Now, in light of the WGA and SAG AFTRA strikes, a lot of panels at San Diego Comic-Con have been canceled. So this is probably the biggest panel I want to say that I'm invested in this weekend and it just so happens to be for one of my favorite television shows which gets its season 5 released next week so that's right July 27th you can expect all my reactions to every episode all my reviews all of my breakdowns ranking lists and so much more so you're not going to want to miss out hit the big red button below and subscribe to the channel tap on the bell and hit the thumbs up button again if you're a big fan of the dragon prince and let me know down below in the comments which bit of news from this panel was your favorite because i'm sure we're probably going to get uh, some new photos uh, some little bits of details for season five and this is a wild card guess but i think they really will drop the first full episode for those in attendance and i think we're going to get a surprise drop for the public on the same day so it's going to be an exciting time i can't wait to talk about everything and uh why am i going to wait let's just get into it Right before the panel began, just minutes before the panel started, there was a nice crowd in attendance, and it's always good to see a full room of Dragon Prince fans. They even displayed Season 5's key art with King Azran and Dominia Profundus, which was projected before the panel was introduced. And then, of course, they had to showcase all of the panel attendees from the show, names like uh, Paula Burroughs, Justin Richmond, Aaron Ejaz, and even Haley Carter, uh, the host for the panel from Cartoon Universe. And there was a really nice moment with the community, a little bit of a shout out from the panel, and I quote, we are grateful for our engaged community. I'm not sure who said that, probably Aaron Ejaz, but it was nice of the panel to showcase some of the community's work as well. It's the one thing we love about this show, right? The community is thriving and we are so inclusive. So it's really nice to see that they recognized all of the community. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> Some pirates attacked. Now, it looks like these pirates were Paula Burroughs, voice of Rayla, and someone else dressed as a pirate as well. They demanded many things, like a signed copy of the new novel, Puzzle House, and, well, here's a photo of the pirate sabotage, as you can see, and they also demanded other things, like episode one, which was shown off. Yes, that's right. Season five, episode one was shown off to those in attendance at San Diego Comic-Con. Now, for those who were in attendance, at least, now there was also a photo from the Dragon Prince Discord, uh, at least I assume it's from the Discord that confirms the first episode was being shown off as well. Then some new images were released. That was really cool. We have a few new images to look at here, and it seems like they're scattered throughout the season. I don't think this is just from episode one. The very first image is Callum looking at Finnegan, who isn't moving. Maybe Finnegan is chained up. And then there's also King Ezrin, who is giving uh, what looks to be like a speech. To whom? Well, I don't know. Could be Zim. Could be Bait. And then this third screenshot is one that I'm sure a lot of fans are looking forward to hopefully getting more of this character in Season 5, and that's the Blood Moon Huntress herself, Kim Dael. And this screenshot is a higher quality look at her in Season 5 compared to what we got in the trailer for Season 5. Now, this is most likely the same fight that Kim Dael is involved with in the trailer. Uh, you know, there uh, seems to be, you know, some sort of conflict, but she's confident. So I'm excited to see more of her in Season 5 and learn more about this character. Now, at this point in the panel, there was a tweet that went out from TDP LATAM. Uh, it's the Latin American uh, Twitter account for this Dragon Prince fan. And it says that episode one will not release before July 27th. And here's a Discord image for proof. I kind of am okay with that, <laughs> to be honest. I didn't want any spoilers anyway. So it is nice that we still have a release date to look forward to, right? Well, I might be wrong, you guys, because after episode one finished playing for those in attendance, the pirates said, it's not enough. We need the season. So I figured, are we, is this really happening? Are they really going to release season five? 
well, before we get there, let me not skip too far ahead. There was some hype apparently surrounding this like case that was being unlocked, and it just so happened to be that it was a nice transition to a new PowerPoint slide, essentially, showing uh, Paula Burroughs, of course, being one of the pirates, and the other pirate being her co-star. And that is voice actor Boone Williams. Apparently, they're voicing Astrid, a new character who seems to be a Skywing mage. And then the bombshell dropped, you guys. <laughs> I can't believe it, guys. Um, the Dragon Prince's official Twitter account shortly afterwards said, Season 5 is released a whole five days early. <laughs> Go figure, you guys. They really did this to us. They shadow dropped, well, sort of. They surprise dropped Season 5 on all of us. So here we are waiting for July 27th, and Season 5 just casually drops on us Saturday night. <laughs> Good thing uh, I got some time, because, yeah, y'all, um, I'm going to be starting my reactions tomorrow. And they also showcased an announcement video that was kind of cool, kind of neat, but uh, it's really not anything crazy. There were some new looks at Season 5 that were released, but I don't want to really break it down here because, well, we got a whole season to watch now. And the final segment for this panel was a Q&A session. So let's go through some of the notable questions and answers that I picked out because I don't want to talk about all of them, but just some that kind of caught my eye. Question, another baby dragon egg? And, well, Aaron Aha says, no comment, which, uh, when you say no comment to things, it probably means yes. So, uh, could we be getting a another dragon egg? Like, how? And then there was another question, do you know how it's going to end? And the answer was, yes, we do. We've known for a while. Of course they do. They knew how it was going to end, most likely, not long after they announced season seven was going to be the final season of the series. Like, yes, that that is exactly... Uh, what most showrunners do, they probably craft the end before they even fill in the in-between stuff. And then there was a third question here that I found. Is there another time skip in anything about Rayla and Callum's future? Apparently, there was only one answer for that, and they answered the former and said, Yes, there is a story that takes place after some time. So it could be that season 7 is that time skip. I wonder. I wonder if they do jump ahead after this saga concludes the mystery of Erebos. So we'll see. And the final question I saw was, when will Runan be released? And the answer was, be patient, the story is being told still. That tells me something, guys. I think Runan is probably not going to get released from his coin this season. I do think they'll probably release Tiandrin and Lane, Rayla's parents, and then, well, they're going to have to work a little bit harder to get Runan out of that coin. Unless they can't, and they just have to accept the fact that he's forever trapped. Oh, so harsh but y'all that was the end of the panel and a huge shout out to cartoon uv and cbr plus some more fans of course that were sourced here for just going ahead and helping us stay in tune with the season five panel at san diego comic-con so there you have it y'all that's the real news of the day and i cannot believe season five is finally here i, <laughs> I wasn't ready well i kind of was but mentally, I wasn't ready. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work on my season five reactions. You can expect that series here on the channel to begin tomorrow. So go ahead and get subscribed down below and hit that bell so you don't miss out on all of my episode reactions. I'm sure some of you have already started watching season five. I'm going to go ahead and get started myself. And hey, hit the like button on this video if, again, you enjoyed this recap. And go ahead and leave a comment down below <laughs> and let me know uh, which bit of news was your favorite. I, I think I can answer that for everyone. Yeah. Alrighty, y'all. Again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you at the next screening. Appa, let's go.